When I was young, I was extremely poor. After many years of struggling, I'm no longer young. <laughs> That's actually pretty good advice. Don't resist. What? Don't say a word. Don't say a word. Nothing. We did nothing. Yeah. Why are you manhandling my kid, yo? Keep the other hand on the back of your head. Stop over there. Putting me in handcuffs. I would like them to comply so that I can take her out of the car peacefully. What did they do? Step out of the car. Why did you pull them over? Technically, that's not even any of your business right now. That's between the officer and the driver. You guys are just out here surrounded acting like hyenas. Did they say why they pulled you over? Step out of the car. Yeah, well that's... You are being lawfully detained. They know she... What law did they break? You, what law did they break for you to have them be pulled over? Say, don't say a word. Nelly, exit the car. Exit the car. She's a minor. She's a minor. Hey, that's illegal. You get off the traffic stop. The second time they've been warned to get off the traffic stop. I understand it's their daughter. I would be concerned also. Certainly wouldn't have a video camera on. Or would I be antagonizing the officers that's taking them into custody? That sounds dumb. Why did you pull them over? They have backlight taillights on. So that gives you a right to physically yank them out of the car? Hold on, idiots on parade. First off, they got pulled over because of a taillight in case anybody couldn't make that out. Secondly, I don't know what the... That gives you a right to pull them out? Well, uh, I pulled them over because of the, the taillight. Their cooperation determines what happens next. And if you guys are the ones who raised them... Stop a second. That's this a is minor. A, Those are young girls. This, I understand. This you, is, let me talk to you about it for a second. Real quick, Can I talk to you about it for a second? Yeah. Speak quickly. Don't yell at me. Speak quickly? What delusion are you under? You're nobody. All right. No, I'm not touching the car. Okay. That's fine. I'll tell you exactly why. Okay. You have to let lawfully stop on a traffic stop. Okay. The driver refused to identify himself. Okay. When they refused to identify themselves, which you lawfully required to do, and they refused to get out of the car, which we are allowed to do, and they are now detained for further charge. So why? Boom. Roast it. Why are you pulling the other girl out of the car? Because she, she was holding on to her. She was holding on to her and refusing my orders to let her go. Boom. Roast it. Do you think they're scared? They didn't break no. You got people with guns coming to them when your child is not prepared and ready to be pulled over and talked to by law enforcement officers. You have failed them. You have failed them. Don't look around. Find a mirror. When they did, a traffic infraction is not a law. A traffic infraction does not require you to yank them out of a car. See how well she listens? Basic comprehension skills are lost nowadays. Do not say a word. I asked her multiple times. You better let them go. You better let them go. Let them go now. Okay. Especially the passenger. She did nothing but hold on because she's afraid for her life. You have guns. They do not. I tried to. You guys put your own comment there. I don't care what you try to explain. You pulled someone over for no tail lights and you yank them out of a car? That is so not lawful. The man literally just explained to you how it works. I mean, you can't fix stupid. Get out of their car. They're scared to death. Now they're in handcuffs. You feel proud? You didn't stop anything. How 
dare you do this to for head tail lights? Does this require yanking people out of their personal private property? Yeah, yeah, sometimes it does. I explained to you everything that just happened. Okay. So if my headlight was out on my front porch, would you yank me out of my house? Lady, I just give, give up on the whole thinking thing. It, it's not for you. Just to hear my partners, okay? No, I come wherever I want. So. <laughs> Ma'am, I can follow. I can follow. What's your name and badge number? All right. Who are scared to death of their lives? There you go. Because they know how rotten you all are. I'm a First Amendment auditor. Oh, I know. That's why you're on my channel. I can't stand people like you. My daughter does these with me. If that's true, you're ruining your child's future. Do you think you're gonna make money forever on YouTube doing this? Do you know how many times YouTube policies have changed? You're an idiot. Said it. And I challenge anybody out there who disagrees. The young girl got her life ahead of her. For her to have this outlook and to start doing all this, it's... Seriously, let's pray for her. Because if, if she's able to even be kind of successful and starts getting a couple dollars, people are motivated by money more than anything. So hey, hey! No, hey. you're under arrest. Hey. But what? Take the camera. Take what? My what? Interfering with an investigation. Walking up on an officer. Uncontrollable mouth. I mean, why did you not put a muzzle on her before you brought her out here? My camera. Take my camera. What am I under arrest for? Excuse me. Glasses. Mr. Clean. Yo, she's got MS and Parkinson's. Yo, she should have thought about that. And you know another thing. If those officers would have got hurt, their back or something for her dropping down like that, I believe you th they should be liable. She ain't got to listen. She ain't break no law. She ain't touch on none of you. Interference is a physical act, man. Go on with... Would you like to give your business card to Yes. Call DMA. Get all the First Amendment auditors on this right now. Yeah, call Santa Claus, too. Them auditors don't care about you. They don't care about no cause. Wake up. Only th They would only come down there if they gonna make some money off it. Don't be stupid. Get arrested. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, eight, no, I ain't call I will not assist, but I will not resist. So we're going with passive resistance, huh? Resisting is resisting. Okay, you, just because you, you don't agree with the definition doesn't mean that you ain't going to see it on your charges. I will not assist, but I will not resist. Assist. If I order you to walk to a car, will you do that? I will not assist, and I will not resist. She's bluffing. They're gonna, they'll, they'll threaten her with a rap, and then she'll get up. Times like this, a little pepper spray be like, psst, psst, you ready to get up now? Oh, I need some water. Yep, yeah, it's in the back of the car. You ready to get up now? <laughs> Ma'am, we can't get you to walk to the car. We're going to put you into a wrap, which is a physical restraint, so we can take you to a car safe. Well, it's better than that. Are you going to ketamine me? Because I know how you guys like it. Yeah, I'll stand up. <laughs> I have Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis, and you guys have meds. You have meds, so when I go to jail, you have my meds. Your medication ain't my responsibility. That's your responsibility. Do you have your meds? Oh no? Then why are you out here acting irresponsible that would put you in a position to not be able to take them? As many of you are guessing right now, she doesn't go off into, into jail. Paramedics come and pick her up. Because as, as we all know, First Amendment auditors have no spine.